Hello guys, welcome back to Gate TV, joined here by Margate manager Andy Drury after Margate's 5-0 uh, win against Faversham in the Kent Senior Cup. Andy, great to bounce back from Saturday's defeat. What are your thoughts on the game? Yeah, I thought, I thought the boys done really well tonight. Um, done everything that I asked them to do before the game. We moved the ball quickly, we kept the ball, we tied them out and then um, we, we always know we score goals. So, uh, with Corey and, and Eddie's come in as well, they've both got the goal got on the score sheet, sorry. Um, both done well and needed minutes just to catch up a little bit up to speed they've not played a lot of football but I think they'll both be great assets for us over the season yeah like you say Corey and Eddie coming in uh, Corey did get three goals Eddie with two goals it uh, looks like a really good performance from them two good chemistry between them is that something you was hoping for? yeah obviously we, we got Corey done last Friday when we were struggling for struggling for a team ahead of the infield game um, and, um, and Eddie was someone that we, we put seven days in for um, Saturday, Saturday night after the game, and and we was managed to um, get him over the line um, yesterday. And Horsham, Horsham were particularly good cooperating with that, um, so I thank him for that. To get him in for tonight, he needed the minutes tonight. Um, Corey offers something different. His hold up pace brilliant for us, just a, as an outlet. And and Eddie's got that pace that we've been looking for. So they're, they're two players that I've identified over the last few weeks that we've needed needed in them areas and, and it's good to get them in. From Saturday's defeat, did today's game kind of move up the ladder in priority list to bounce back and you know get that winning momentum going again? Yeah, it's, it's strange really. I mean, I, I had a few phone calls after the game Saturday and I wasn't too disappointed because we we just played, we played really well for 55 minutes and only a few people knew what, what situation we was in going ahead of the game and we had a couple of people come back from injury that hadn't played football. We had a couple of people that were that were real and, and we suffered the last 20, 30 minutes. Um, and we had 12 fit players on top of that. So, you know, people knew inside the camp what, what was happening and it, it caught up with us last 20 minutes. We did implode a little bit. Um, but the first 55 minutes we, we was really good and we t we've performed well tonight. We performed well for large parts against Dulwich. Aylesbury away, we played well. Um, Herne Bay was brilliant. So, we're getting there. As a, as a new squad, we are getting there. You can see tonight a little bit more chemistry. We've added a couple of players, and, and like I say, we are getting there. We've got a good. We've got a good team. We've got a good squad now. We're still one or two away from where I would like to be to to push us really up the table, um, and we'll keep looking for them. But as a squad, I, I think we've got a good squad. Lewis Knight back in the side tonight in the back. Uh, obviously, has been out with an injury. How pleased are you with his performance today? Yeah, Knight come in, done well. It was always our plan to try and get him 45 minutes. He, he was still struggling and feeling it a little bit Saturday when he had a, had a um, fitness test. And we, we just squeezed 45 out of him. We'll see how that reacts tomorrow. Um, but yeah, Knight, Knight is slotted in. He's an experience. We've, we've missed it a little bit for the last month. And it's, been, yeah, it's been a bit frustrating for him and, and myself. You know, like If he was fit Saturday, obviously he might have been playing, but... Even if he was on the bench as an option, he, he could have come on and dealt a little bit better with, with Cunnington. Um, and that was something I looked back on. Could I have done something differently? I could have done if, if I had a couple of personnel available. But um, it's good to have him back. Hopefully he doesn't have a reaction to, to his hamstring. And we'll see how he is tomorrow. Moving on from today's win, uh, we do go to Averley Saturday in the league. Um, obviously we did have a heavy defeat there uh, in the cup final last season. Has it got an extra urge of a win to go there Saturday now? Uh, I think on the back of a loss against Enfield, yeah, we need to go there and get a result. Uh, we've got five games coming up in quick succession. Now we go Saturday, Tuesday, Saturday, Tuesday, Saturday. So we've got five games in quick succession that I think we can get we can get some good results against. Uh, and it's important we push up the table because I think we've got a squad in there that's capable of doing, definitely finishing top eight, in, in my opinion, if... If we can add one or two, then, then I, I believe we're good enough to be pushing for the plus. Excellent. Cheers, anyone, well mate. Cheers, mate. Thank you.